What's up everyone? It's your Dirty Moth King here. Thank you for subscribing. Because all of you want to see my slow descent into madness. That's what you subscribed for. I'm broadcasting here from my beautiful basement, being the prototype Buffalo Bill that I am. Today we are going to recap an interesting story. Now, half of you know this story and half of you don't. Because this happened a year ago. And since then my YouTube channel basically doubled in subscribers. Good news. But it means that half of you never seen this story. Anyways, about a year ago, I got the most adorable video response to my channel. From someone named Isaac, who was quite passionate about my channel. Let's show it again. Okay, so there's a YouTuber called Bart Kokens. Um, he's Dutch, and he's a moth breeder. He likes insects. He breeds insects, moths, and butterflies. And a couple of months ago, I saw his channel. I subscribed, and he's just so cool. I just love his YouTube videos. And he had this video about giant silk moths. When he had the Secrepia moth, Luna moth, Polyphemus moth. Io moth, etc. And he really inspired me uh, to collect butterflies and moths and insects. And I wanted to be like him, to make a channel about insects and butterflies. And I really liked it. And yeah, I know it's a small channel, I only have about 30 videos. But if you're listening, Bart Copens, I just want to say that you are amazing. And I love you. You're, like, an amazing person, an entomologist. You inspired me. And I like the comments you left. You said, nice collection. Collectors are important to research. And, yeah. That really made me feel good because having someone you love telling you that you make good stuff is, like, amazing it's really fun anyway I just wanted to tell you that and it's yeah really fun that you saw my videos anyway that's what I wanted to say bye me being the narcissist that I am took it to heart of course I was glad to see that young people are in fact inspired by entomology you see as entomologists are a dying breed, most of them are old. And in the young generations, there aren't that much people with interest in insects. It's a problem. It's serious. There's a lack of entomologists right now. Wild insects are declining. So we should encourage young people to build collections, to breed, to study, to whatever they want. Photography, they don't have to have the same hobby as me. However, a tragedy happened soon after, and I saw this video. So last night, I heard the noise. It bang on the floor. And I found my whole collection broken. Everything I have is gone. Monarch. Extremely rare luna moth. Giant insects, beetles, tiger beetles, cicadas, westeroids, the cocoon, stick insects, bees, wasps, even my Water beetle is completely gone. Almost every pin I have is now bended. So about a, I don't know, hundred dollars worth of insects and material gone. It's just really sad. 
Soon afterwards, I made a video response to Isaac, saying that I would help restore his broken collection. Well, it took me some time to read all of it and keep some spare material. Hello everyone, welcome to Isaac's Nature Channel and Entomology. My name is Isaac. Um, I do not currently have my camera, that's why I didn't upload, but I do have a phone, so that's going to be good enough, I guess. So, almost a month ago, a uh, famous insect breeder, YouTuber, Bart Copins, uh, sent me this email saying that he would send me moths that he bred. And the box has finally arrived. So, there you have it. And, yeah, so I'm just going to open that. I don't have a box opener, so this knife is going to have to do. And, yeah, I will see you once that I open the box. Just ripping this thing a part here. I hope I won't damage the specimens. Which probably I did taste it. Let's see. Alright. Here we go. And some newspaper. I'm move things along here. Looks like there's... Inside here, smiley face. Alright, even more tape. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Alright, well, unbox this. I just want to say thank you a lot, Bart Copins, for all you have done. I'm sure there are beautiful specimens in there. And I really appreciate it. We're doing something nice. And this will certainly help my collection to grow in more newspaper. Wow. And here we go. I think these are the specimens. Yep, we got here a smaller moth. We got here another moth. Oh wow, this looks like a... Look at this one. This one is pretty big. Oh, you got a little emperor moth here. Whoa! Here looks like Samia Cynthia or Samia Basin. Look at this big one. This is a white morpho, I believe. Oh, majestic. Wow. Oh, look at this one. This, the the ghastly silk moth. I don't know the true name, but I know that this is one of uh, the coolest moth videos I had seen on your channel. Oh my god, this is great. Another, looks like emperor moth here. And yeah, those are the moths. Alright, let's go to the These are the moths that I have. Sorry, I'm shaking. This is so great. Oh my god. Uh, my two favorites are these two here. Oh my god. This one, I don't know what it is, but it looks like it might be an Io moth. Oh wow, that is super awesome. Otomiris Io. And this one as well. This one is very colorful. Alright, so these are the moths that Barco can send me. Thank you so much, Barco Pins. This is a message for you. Um, though it took a bit of time and super grateful, all these specimens are definitely going to help for my collection. Oh my god. Anyway, yeah. This is amazing. Uh, lots of moths. The only moth that I might be able to find here in Canada is this one. Uh, but oh, I'm making it a. In fact, it's pretty uh, strange it's because I'm making a drawer about. Um, Exotic moths from different parts of the world. <laughs> so, oh my god. Yeah, giant silk moths are my favorite moths. These are so great. Uh, especially this one, the ghastly silk moth. That was actually one of my favorite videos. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You cannot imagine how great this is for me. And, yeah. This is pretty cool. So I'm just going to take uh, the butterflies out and rehydrate them since I'm pretty sure they got dried while their long journey over here um, all the way from Europe. So yeah, I'll just take, the, take those out uh, so you can get a better view and I'll hydrate them. And I'll actually make a video about how to hydrate moths and butterflies. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching everyone. 
uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's, it's really a big help. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Uh, share to your friends if they like collecting insects. I've got lots of pointers I can show them. And yeah, I will see you next time. Goodbye. Alright, so these are the nine specimens. You got here Emperor Moth as well as here. Here you have Automeis eel. You have a Samia species. I think it's either Samia Cynthia or Samia Risni. Um, you also have a moth here. I do not know the name of this one yet. Um, and you have another, you got a big butterfly here, which is, I believe is the white morpho. And you've got a smaller butterfly here, which I don't know what it is yet. Um, once I spread out the wings, I might have more of an idea. And here we have, uh, this looks like, this here, looks like it might be Bochalia lebao, lebao, maybe. And of course, the ghastly silk moth over here, which is very pretty. Um, so yeah, these are the moths. If there's one thing I would have done differently, is I would have liked to send him the specimens faster, because it basically took me one year to send them. Although I wanted a nice variety of species, and breeding moths can take a lot of time. And so I waited for one whole breeding season, and kept apart some specimens of each generation uh, all the generations I had through the year that I didn't need for my breeding projects to, uh, to send to Isaac so that and the fact that I have a busy life uh, many things come up so it's just the Cambodia and Laos thing but uh, there's also work, study blah blah blah, the museum so Let's say that's better late than never, right? But uh, no, seriously. Uh, but I'm still glad that they arrived in good condition. Now, last but not least, I would like all of you to check out Isaac's channel, send him some words of support. And, well, I just wanted to tell you about the happy ending, because some of you at the time may have been invested in this event and wondered how, uh, well, what the result of it was. Thanks for watching. Sorry for being incoherent this video, I'm really tired and English is not my native language. And what's really interesting is the more tired I get, yeah, the worse my English becomes. It's because uh, as a non-native speaker of uh, English, I have to actively translate everything I want to say in my head. And this becomes more difficult the more tired I am. So, I'm really, after a busy day like this, and I have the caveman speak. That's what I call it, the caveman speak. But uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.